Welcome back to another video and a glorious morning here in Bali. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. First of all, I need to take the dogs out. So I'm gonna head out on a quick walk and just explain a little bit about what my training has been, a little update on what I'm actually gonna be training for. Right, let's take these two out. An update. Come on. An update on training. Come up, Peggy. So, I decided to go with a 12 week uh, generic training program on Training Peaks. I'll link um, the training plan in, um, in the description of the video. And it's just a base training 12 week plan with um, intervals, kind of. Um, sweet spot, tempo, some over and unders, just increasing over the 12 weeks. So the plan is to get back up to some decent or half decent level of fitness because I have now signed up to the GFMY, it's the Grand Fondo New York Philippines edition, which is on the 22nd of September. Come on, out of the way. So that's gonna be kind of my training aim. Annoyingly, um, the house sit that we're doing at the moment ends uh, kind of mid-August so I'm actually going to have probably about a month where I'm not really sure how I'm going to train or where I'm going to train because I'm not sure where I'm going to be so yeah so today I've got a active recovery ride I'm going to head up to um, probably my favorite coffee spot cafe is not the best but it does do half decent coffee but the view is to die for so i'm going to finish walking these dogs just look at this scenery i have to appreciate this right dogs have been walked come on in you come come on menace now it's time for me to get ready it's getting super hot so i'm going to get ready and jump on the bike so Let's get changed. Okay, so I'm finally on the bike. Actually, I've been cycling now for about half an hour. It's about quarter past 10. Ridiculously late to be out on a bike out here. It's too hot, although it's pretty cloudy now. It's clouding over, so it's probably uh, not too bad considering. So yeah, on my way up to Kintamani, which is like a local climb. It's like the main, main ridge that surrounds the uh, the uh, Mount Vitor volcano and yeah I reckon I've probably got about another hour cruising it probably just 150 watts ticking over don't want to do any more than that I've got two hard days on the bike tomorrow Saturday and Sunday probably do three or four hours tomorrow maybe another three hours on Sunday a bit of endurance with a few little intervals in between so taking it easy today. So yeah, on my way. Okay, made it to the coffee shop. 1,100 meters, two hours. Probably not the best idea for a recovery ride, but for this view. And some cake and some coffee. I think it's kind of worth it, right? Right, coffee done, now I need to descend. Um, looking pretty grim. When I saw you, I would lose control. Made me feel like there was no tomorrow. Should have told you that you're beautiful. But the day's passing now, it's so long ago. So, two hours 40, 58k, 
129 average power, nice and easy, and 1,154 meters of elevation. Elevation? Elevation. Time for a quick protein shake, and I need to head out and have some proper breakfast. Bit of mango, passion fruit, a scoop of protein powder, just add a bit of cacao, some spirulina, and chuck a few chia seeds in and flaxseed. A bit of water, job done. Cheers. Right, I am showered, changed, and off into town to get some lunch. Brunch. Lunch, yeah, lunch. So I'm gonna head into town, and I think I might go to um, a hotel spa where they've got like a jacuzzi, a uh, steam room, sauna, and like a cold bath. Now I'm gonna to touch upon this cold thing later, maybe, or another time. But I've been trying something a bit different. And it's called the Wim Hom, Wim Hom? Wim Hof method. If anybody has heard of and does the Wim Hof method, leave some comments below. How do you find it? Does it help your cycling? Does it help you in general? Anyway, I'm gonna jump on the bike and head into town. Okay, so I'm back home from town. That's gonna to be the end of today's video. Coming up, I've got an FTP test as we're now four weeks into my 12 week training program. So it'd be interesting to see how much progress I've made in four weeks. Not expecting anything massive, but small gains will be helpful. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and see you next time.